Welcome to the channel. If you're considering a move to the Bee Cave area and comparing it to other parts of Austin, it's really important to have a solid overview of exactly what to expect. So in this video, I'm gonna share more about how the cost of living in Bee Cave compares to both Austin as well as the United States as a whole. So stay tuned. Before highlighting whether Bee Cave is more or less expensive than Austin or the United States, I want to break down some of the specifics for you, including some of the important costs such as taxes, food and groceries, healthcare, transportation, home prices, and so much more. Be sure to stick with me because one of these in the list definitely skews the numbers and I want to make sure that you're not misled in any way. Before we dive in, again, welcome to the channel where it's all about living in Austin. I've been a local for over 13 years now and love sharing everything about what I've learned over that period of time in Austin. Make sure you hit that like button. It helps people looking for this information find it a little more easily. And if you're pleased with the content I'm putting together for you each week, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted of each of those weekly videos that I will be putting together for you. My name is Aubrey Von Baron, and I'm also a licensed real estate broker in the area. So if that's you looking for a home or making a move within Austin, be sure to call, text, or email. I'd love to connect about your move within the Austin area. All right, let's get started with some of the necessities, specifically food and groceries. And here's a big win for Bee Cave. So the cost of food and groceries in Bee Cave are right in line with the national average, which is wonderful. And it's fairly comparable to the cost in Austin. It's only 4% higher than that. Living in the vicinity for many years, I think I know why it's slightly more expensive than Austin in terms of these necessities. It has been known that it's tougher for businesses in the Bee Cave area to find employees. And this is due largely to the cost of housing and the sheer distance from to and from Austin, which is roughly 30 minutes. Bee Cave is relatively small. It's only an eight square mile area. And again, it's about 30 minutes from Austin. So it makes that just a little bit harder for employers seeking workers. Because of this, it, there's no doubt that businesses are paying their employees a little bit more to compensate for that and thus increasing the cost to us as consumers. With that being said though, we're still right in line with the national index in Bee Cave. And again, just 4% higher than the Austin Metro for food and groceries. So not too bad for Bee Cave. I definitely consider that a win for the area. There are a couple of wins for Bee Cave here wrapped into our next topic, which is utilities. Right off the bat, you can actually expect Bee Cave utilities to be 2% less than Austin and 3% below the national average. So. We'll definitely take this and it's another win for Bee Cave. An added bonus to this is knowing that there are actually newer communities located in the area as well, which means even lower utility bills. So on that note, many of the newer homes are much more energy efficient than some of the older counterparts. And this lends itself very nicely to the already lower utility costs compared to Austin and the national average. So if you're exploring in the area, be sure to let me know in the comments exactly where you're considering and also be sure to reach out so I can highlight some of the best spots for you related to this entirely. As we work our way to the biggest factor that really drives Bee Cave's cost index, I'm always asked about the healthcare services offered in certain areas that people are considering moving. So a third win for Bee Cave is that the healthcare is right in line with the national average and nearly identical to Austin itself. What's super nice about this too, is that you actually have a newer hospital within minutes of Bee Cave. And this is Baylor Scott and White, it was built in 2012. This is actually a 106 bed full service hospital with an emergency room, rehabilitation and long-term care facilities and numerous outpatient clinics. The hospital has also received magnet recognition, which is actually the gold standard in nursing excellence and superiority in patient care. So it's really nice to have. And again, just five minutes up the road from Bee Cave. At this point, you're probably feeling pretty confident and thinking that Bee Cave is a really affordable spot just outside of Austin. But stick with me because I haven't gotten to the part that may really skew these numbers. And before that, I'm going to dive into our favorite topic, which is taxes. What's great in Texas is that there is no state income tax. With that being said, we do have property taxes. 
To give you a quick breakdown of property taxes, you'll have a different tax rate for each area. This rate can even be community specific, so be sure to ask those questions when you're exploring. From there, each property will have a different tax assessed value that's determined by the local county. It's really important to note here that this assessed value is completely different than the actual market value of the home that you'll see as you're browsing listings online. The counties offer various exemptions. A few of those would include a homestead exemption if the home is your primary residence, an over 65 exemption if you're 65 years or older, and various disability exemptions. There are also exemptions if you've served in the military, so be sure to ask me about those because they can be huge in saving you a ton of money each year in property taxes. Although there is property tax in Texas, your overall tax burden is actually much lower here compared to other states, and that has a lot to do with not having a state income tax. So to dive a little bit deeper and highlighting Bee Cave specifically, you can expect property taxes to average right about 2% of the assessed value. So remember, this is not 2% of the listing price that you see online, but rather the assessed value that comes from the county. Again, be sure to reach out to me because I can highlight this on a case by case basis. Bee Cave's average of 2% is actually slightly lower than Austin and even roughly 1% lower than many of the newer communities and parts of Austin. And that's a huge savings when you think about that over the course of a year and all of the years that you own the home. You're probably thinking that Bee Cave sounds pretty affordable right now overall, but I promised you one factor that can really skew these numbers, and that is definitely the cost of housing. The median home price in Bee Cave tends to hover around the $900,000 range compared to Greater Austin, which is in the mid 500,000s. To put a percentage to this, Bee Cave's home prices are 61% higher than Austin. Bee Cave is also higher than the national average, which sits in the lower 400,000s in the first quarter of this year, 23. Keep in mind though, that there are perks associated with being in Bee Cave. Bee Cave itself feeds into a top rated school district in the country as well as the Austin area. And it's a super pretty place overall. You're in the Texas Hill Country, you have rolling hills, gorgeous topography that you definitely can't find in many other parts of the city and also not many other parts of Texas for that matter. So it is a very pretty area overall that feeds into a great school district. You also do get quite a bit of home. The homes are a little bit larger on average and the lot sizes are a little larger too. So you get more land for the price compared to other areas of Austin. So again, although the median home price is higher, you are getting a lot more for your money when you're in Bee Cave. Now, I think the only real downside to living in Bee Cave could potentially be the cost of housing. If it's a little price prohibitive for certain people, it's definitely a deterrent. But with that being said, on the positive note of home maintenance and taking care of your, your expensive home that you've just purchased, these general home maintenance items such as lawn care, pest control, if you have a pool, pool care are all important to consider. So if you're not mowing your lawn yourself, which it's very hot to do so in the summer months, especially, or you just don't have the time, you can expect to pay roughly 50 to $70 per week for a service to mow and maintain the weeds in your flower beds, blow off the yard, do all of the basic lawn maintenance. This, is, this pricing is based on a typical quarter to third of an acre property, which is fairly standard for the area. If you start getting into half an acre to an acre or more, then of course you could probably expect to double this cost. But again, it just varies slightly. It's important to note that the area does have a ton of vegetation, including oak and cedar trees and other really nice plants and landscaping. So you will find yourself very much wanting pest control. There are a lot of unwanted bugs in my area of Lakeway specifically. This is also the case for Bee Cave. So I have the most frequent pest control possible, which is every other month. And I was, this is the most frequent one I was able to find at least. And this is roughly $75 per treatment, which is pretty standard across the board. If you do have a pool, not including the electricity costs and other costs to run the pool itself, you can expect to pay about $200 a month to have a pool service come out, 
clean, balance the chemicals and do any other pool maintenance related items. That seems to be the going rate in the Bee Cave area as of today. So although Bee Cave is roughly 25% more expensive than the Austin Metro, there are a lot of things that you actually get in return for that. Again, such as being in the Texas Hill Country with the beautiful topography, close lake access, you're very close to Lake Travis, a lot of the water activities, and you get a larger home and a larger lot for your money. Really outside of the cost of housing itself, everything in Bee Cave sits in line with Austin and the United States National Index or below it. So all of those are very advantageous and cost-effective. The only thing that's maybe price prohibitive for some people would be the home prices here. But again, you get a lot for the value. And I think that's really important to know. So if Bee Cave is on your radar, please reach out to me. I would love to learn a little bit more about your move and we can talk more about what spots in Bee Cave may be the best fit for you. Guys, just as a reminder, my name is Aubrey Von Barron and I'm a licensed real estate broker here in the Austin area. I would love to connect about your move within Austin. So call, text, or email, schedule an appointment with me in the link below and let's talk a little bit further. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you're alerted of the next video that I will be putting out for you.